que yo la soy Román González, le mando un saludo a todos sí. los fans, bendiciones, cuídense. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing to thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, let's talk about the man himself, the man that we affectionately refer to as Chalatito Gonzalez, aka the real TBE, aka the Picasso of boxing, Roman El Chocolatito Gonzalez, Nicaragua's very own Roman Chalatito Gonzalez. He had a fight last night against uh, the very tough, very game, very formidable, and probably, I would say, the most battle-tested 23-year-old fighter you can find in all boxing, Israel Gonzalez. This was a fight last night that I was very intrigued by, because when we talk about Israel, Israel Gonzalez, this is a guy that has had two world title shots before. You know, he fought Joe and Cajas, he fought um, Cali Fai. I thought he beat Cali Fai. I thought it was a, a fight where he should have got the decision. He didn't get it, so... You know, there's an argument to be made that he might have been, that, that depending on who you talk to, he could be looked at as the uncrowned WBA fly, uh, super flyweight champion. So, Charles T was fighting him. He's, he, he's three inches taller, got a seven inch reach advantage, I think, seven inch reach advantage. He's 10 years younger. Um, very formidable fighter. One of the most dangerous fighters in the weight class that doesn't have a title for Charles Tito. You know, and honestly, I gotta say, man, I, I, I thought it was gonna win. I thought it was actually gonna stop this guy. But um, I was impressed. I mean, it was a vintage Charlotte Taylor for performance. There were times in this fight where I feel like I was watching the 2015 Charlotte Tito, the 2016 Charlotte Tito, you know, 2014 Charlotte Tito. You know, it was a, it was a throwback to when he was Pound Pound King because Charlotte Tito in this fight, the, the the constant pressure that he put on the bigger younger man. Um, he had the bigger younger man looking like the older smaller man. That, that that's what he looked like at many times in this fight. Israel Gonzalez. And Chalatito, it was a steady, stream, a steady stream of punches. His punches was, it was a waterfall of punches. It was, it was a Niagara Falls of punches. Chalatito was just throwing all kinds of, 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 of great punches from different angles, stepping around to the side, varying the speed of the punches. It's almost like you know, for my, for, for my baseball fans out there, wa watching Chalatito fight, watching Chalatito fight in a boxing match is like watching Greg Maddox pitch in his prime. You know, Greg Maddox, the great baseball pitcher. He was, he wasn't, he didn't throw the fastest. He didn't have the most overpowering pitches but he, he he knew how to change speeds he knew how to throw the, he knew when to throw the curveball when to throw the fastball when to throw the slider where to locate it you know and, and, and he was a master at changing speeds in baseball and watching Chalatito Gonzalez to me is very reminiscent in, in baseball to watching Greg Maddox pitch this guy when he throws punches he, he uh, when he throws combinations he's so good at you know sometimes he'll start he'll, the first punch will be hard and fast the next punch will be soft and slow the next punch might be uh, uh, a slow and hard and you know so he might touch you. He might step to the side. He just has this way of of, of, of of finding the openings, of creating the openings, of 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 getting you to fight when you don't want to fight, getting you to move when you don't want to move, getting you to the part of the ring when you don't want to be there. And he's just a true master of the sweet science of boxing. That term, that term, the sweet science of boxing, is thrown around uh, a lot by fans, and normally it's normally thrown around by most fan fight fans. When you get a good fighter who can box out his back foot, who's got a good, who's got a A class jab and has all this crazy movement, but Chalatito is the true definition of the sweet science because he's all about efficiency. He's all about efficiency. He's all about, you know, inflicting as much damage as possible while doing the most little, as little work as possible. Because if you watch Chalatito, he's not really moving too much. He's not, you know, got the crazy like Pernell Whitaker or you know d defense or anything like that. He's very, very subtle with his defense. He's right in front of you. 
you know, he might just go like this, and then you miss a punch, you miss a punch, it goes over here, it goes over here. And uh, that's what he was doing to Israel Gonzalez. Israel Gonzalez was dangerous for the 12 rounds. He was dangerous. When he did land on Chalatito, you know, he was able to basically uh, put him in some uncomfortable, un uncomfortable situations, but it was so few and far between because every time he landed a punch or two, Chalatito Tito answered back with three, four, five. Um, and, 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 and they were hard thudding punches, hard thudding punches to the body, to the liver, and he was just systematically breaking them down. You know, throwing, doubling up on on, on punches to the, on the right side of, of the body, then to the t then to the middle, then back down to the left, then back to the head. You know, it, he, any fighter out there watching this video, if you're if you're a young upcoming boxer and you're watching this video, this is somebody you got to study, Chalatito, because um, you know, if if I didn't know any better, if you didn't tell me the ages of Israel Gonzalez and Chalatito Gonzalez before this fight started, I would have thought that Chalatito Gonzalez was a younger, um, younger, uh, bigger guy because. That's that's that, that's how he fights, and he has a history of this. He's shown it throughout the course of his career, and man, like I I didn't I I I I, I can't lie, man. The, his, his last two performances have been so satisfying and enjoyable against Kaya Fai and Israel Gonzalez, respectively, because of the fact that there was a point in this man's career where we we we, we seriously considered whether whether or not he'd ever get he'd ever be at this level again when he when he got knocked out against Rambusai. It looked like he was done. It looked like mentally he wasn't the same guy anymore. But Chalatito has shown incredible resolve, incredible championship mentality and, and mental toughness to get back to this point to where not only is um, he having a great career, but he's still at, at his age, at his advanced age of uh, 33 years old, which is almost unheard of to be, to be fighting at this age in the Super Flyweight division at this level. You know, it's almost unheard of. It, it, it's almost, um, you know, you, you, don't, you don't really see this too often where, where guys are, are this late into their 30s fighting at this level. So he deserves the utmost credit he deserves the utmost respect and um you know I, I don't know how many more times i don't know how many more times he's gonna make that ring walk and and be in the box ring but for as many times as he does uh continue to box i will enjoy every last bit of it because this guy has been a true testament to the sport of boxing he hasn't ducked anybody he hasn't like um avoided any of the top challenges you know he fought israel gonzalez who i believe was ranked number three or four by the wba and he could have he could have got he could have taken an easier fight, but no, he decided to fight the, the youngest, strongest kid um, that was available to him in, in Gonzalez and in, in Israel Gonzalez. And this was a guy in Israel Gonzalez who fought his previous opponent, and many people beat him. So he beat the guy that, in people's eyes, got the gift, and the, and the guy that 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 they thought won that fight in 2018. And uh, yeah, he's he's erased that, beat both of them. So you know, shout out to him. You know, he's got that fight with Guy Estrada, hopefully coming up, and we'll definitely be doing a video on that. But um, in this particular video, I just wanted to focus on this fight. Um, what a performance. What a performance. And I, I, I want to wrap this video up by, by, by highlighting this because this isn't getting highlighted enough and talked about enough in the media or amongst fans because I, I just don't think anybody's brought it to their attention. But a big reason why Chala Tito Gonzalez has been, has been performing as well as he's been, been performing, aside from the fact that he's very talented, I think is because of the influence and the guidance of uh, Marcos Caballero, his trainer. Marcos, Marcos Caballero, his trainer, has done an excellent job in, in, in fine-tuning some things. You know, Chalatito was a fighter that, for most of his career, he was constant pressure. He was great on his, he was had great balance and had a, has a good has a good jab. He has a good jab, but he didn't necessarily use it. It wasn't a focal point. It's not something he was known for. Now, like last night, you see him. He he was using his jab to get inside on Israel Gonzalez, um, and now he's being a bit more methodical in, in picking his spots of when to let his hands go. And, and I just gotta give Marcos Caballero the utmost credit because. Um, he, he took over and, and became Roman Gonzalez's his trainer. Um, after Arnufo Bondo, Arbondo, his longtime trainer, died. And he's uh, been his trainer since the Moises Fuentes fight. And if you just, if you just watch Chalatillo's career from that fight to now, it's just been nothing but straight devastating knockouts. Starting from that fight, you know, we've seen the jab be a bigger part of, of, of his arsenal. And we've seen the right hand be a bigger part of his arsenal. And it was the same thing tonight, uh, same thing in uh, this particular fight with Israel Gonzalez. So, you know, when we talk about Chalatito, we're talking about the creme de la creme. We're talking about the Picasso of boxing. We're talking about that man that we call the real TBE. And, um, man, what a performance, you know. Um, that was such a great, it was so enjoyable to watch. And, and all credit to Israel Gonzalez. You know, he's 23 years old, been in a lot of fights, has had three world title shots already, and hasn't been able to um, come up big. But I think it's a good building block for him, the fact that, you know, he had a good performance against Cali Fai and should have beat him. And he won 12 rounds with Chalatito Gonzalez, arguably the best fighter uh, in the weight class at the moment, so you know, I think for him it could be a, a good building block, building block going forward. And I still want to see Israel Gonzalez come back in some, in some important fights. You know, I'd love to see him against Gael Estrada in the future. 
Maybe uh, Julio Cesar Martinez for his first fight at um, at 113 would be a good fight. You know, Israel Gonzalez can, can fight, man. And it's not easy to go in there and make and, and make him look the way Chalatito did it. But, uh, you know, that, that just shows you how great Chalatito is. So, I'll leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. What did you make of, you know, the Picasso boxing, the real TVE, Roman Gonzalez's performance last night against Israel Gonzalez? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys.